Hello guys, this is Gotham Gaming here. So I haven't been uploading to as many videos as I do. So I've been really busy because football and school is starting to start back up. So I'm trying to get everything situated. But anyway, I'm bringing you a video. We're going to talk about Black Ops 3 today. Now, it's been a while since I've talked about Black Ops 3. Because mainly I've been waiting for more details to surface. And quite honestly, I'm impressed from what I've seen so far. And I think Black Ops 3 is going to be a pretty... I think it's going to be a good Call of Duty game. And it's definitely going to be a good first-person shooter game, for sure. And for a multitude of reasons. Now, there's been lots of screenshots and gameplay of Black Ops 3. Now, I think the problem they did with Advanced Warfare, which I think Advanced Warfare was an excellent game, nevertheless. But I think the main problem people had with Advanced Warfare was the fact that you could exo jump and there was no like wait times, you could just keep exo jumping. Now with what I've seen with Black Ops 3, it's no longer like that. You have there's a bar, there's a meter, and you can't just infinitely exo jump wherever the hell you want. Which I think is good. You know? There's boundaries. Now also why I think this is good is the zombies. Now in case you don't know, Treyarch is notoriously good for making zombies. They do a fantastic job. Every time they make a Call of Duty, they make excellent zombies. I can't complain about the zombies. And the zombies this year does not disappoint me one bit. The remapping of Dur East Next Gen, that's a brilliant idea. You guys, I highly recommend you go check out um, the fucking trailer on the new Dur East. Highly recommend it. It looks badass. Now, the single player, they're bringing co-op campaign back. That's great. I'll be able to do a co-op campaign with my friends on Call of Duty, which I will be bringing you. If my friends are on at midnight, I'll be bringing to you a playthrough that night. That very night. And I also will be bringing you a Juggernaut Edition unboxing. I just finished paying it off. The Juggernaut Edition I will be getting midnight, November the 6th, on a Friday. I mean, sorry, November the 5th that night, at midnight, I'll be getting it. And that following night, I have a football game, so... I might, I'm not going to be able to upload too much that night unless I get back home after the game I'll upload. It depends. But Black Ops 3 is, a bi is big on my list for sure. And then that following week, Fallout 4 comes out on Tuesday. That, that, that whole week is just blown up. And then after, the following week after that, Star Wars Battlefront comes out. So we're going to have lots of games to play, lots of things to get to. Now, I haven't decided if... Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I completely got off track. We're going to be talking about Black Ops 3. Sorry. But, let me just put this out. Fallout 3 and Black Ops 3 will be big games that month. Sorry for getting off track. I just completely noticed that. But, nonetheless, I think Black Ops 3 is going to be an excellent game. I've seen screenshots of a guy using a flamethrower, so the flamethrower is going to be back. And the co-op campaign, you can... Basically, there's just going to be this builder where you can build your own weapons, which I think is also cool. And eSports is supposed to be bigger than ever than in any other Call of Duty game in this one. So I think so far, so good. And also, August 19th, there's a beta coming out for Black Ops 3. I'll be doing gameplay on that, for sure. And I think overall, it's going to be good. I think Call of Duty is going back to the roots with the whole beta system. Because we haven't seen a beta since Call of Duty World at War. And that was only on 360. But, like, the beta was only on 360, because I could totally see one of you fuckers in the comments who are like, Oh my god, you're a fucking idiot! But, nonetheless, there will be a beta for consoles. Last gen, there will not be betas. And, speaking of last gen, Black Ops 3, I wouldn't expect any more Call of Duty games to be coming out. I think, after this, the lifeboat's gonna leave, because I don't think there's gonna be any more Call of Duties for last gen. And if there's a Call of Duty next year for last gen, holy, holy shit. Like, they're treating you guys like kings right now. I've never seen companies still releasing games like this on any other console. But, that's another less. Black Ops 3, I think, is going to be a good game. From what I've seen so far, it looks good. The co-op campaign, I like that. Zombies, I like that. The multiplayer, you know, that looks great. They're bringing back Uplink, which is a game mode I really like. I really liked Uplink from, what's it called, Advanced Warfare. I thought that was a really cool game mode to play. And overall, I think Black Ops 3 is going to be a pretty good game. Now, Game of the Year, I don't know. For me, right now, I'm leaning towards Fallout 4 being Game of the Year. That's likely what it's going to be. The only way Fallout 4 won't be Game of the Year is if they fuck up colossally. But I don't think that's going to happen. But anyway, Black Ops 3, I think, is going to be the definitive first-person shooter for this year. That's what it seems like. 
and David Vanderhall and Mark Romney have definitely put hard work into this game for sure. The campaign, the co-op campaign is going to be good. The zombies is going to be good. The multiplayer, it's all going to be good. It's going to have that Treyarch feel. Now, I'm really interested to play and hear more of the story. Because I want to know if they're building a whole new story or if they're still going off the story from Black Ops 2. Because whatever happened to Menendez and all of them. Like, I mean, if you kill them, Menendez, then you killed them. But what happened with all the riots and stuff, I still want to know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to try giving you more PS3 gameplay because I know people are really into the whole... People really like my Modern Warfare 3 retro footage. And yeah, I will try getting you more Black Ops 2 gameplay and stuff like that, but nah. I think Black Ops 3 overall is going to be a good game. And I think it's going to be awesome. I know I've said that a lot, but I legitimately think that. Anyway, guys, this is Gotham Gaming. Please like, favorite, and subscribe, and keep on gaming.